Yo, what's up, guys? Gonna fire here back with another video, and today we're gonna go ahead and bring you a one play touchdown in Madden 22, as well as a money play. Now, this is a different one than usual. Usually, we're able to beat every single coverage in the game with this particular one. It's not gonna beat every single coverage. Trust me, I tried to find certain setups for certain coverages. You guys may know it, you may not know it. If you do know it, of course, you can leave those setups down below in the description or comment section rather, but. I could not find setups for those, so we will mainly be beating like three or four coverages. The other ones, again, you will be able to beat, but not for one play touchdowns necessarily. Now, the play we're going to be running is smash return in the middle there with our boy Randall Cobb in the play art. This is a very good play because of the corner out. The corner out is very unique. It does a lot of different things to coverages. The coverage reacts in a lot of unique ways to it. And for that reason, it's going to be very helpful in beating some of the most important coverages. Now, the play does beat the most important coverages, cover two, cover three, um, and of course, some other ones. But you will need one ability for this, and it's going to be a need. You're going to need the uh, wide receiver apprentice or outside apprentice, I believe. Devontae Adams has it. Amari Cooper has it. I think some other guys have it. Of course, you can use Hot Route Master if you have that. I also recommend getting a high throw power quarterback. Gunslinger would be preferred as well. But without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now, the coverage that we're going to start with is going to be a classic cover two, Tampa two. Now, where do you see Tampa two? It's usually in the nickel two, four, five odd formation, which is probably the meta right now. Um, a lot of times you'll see that blitz out of cover two. It's probably the best blitz in the nickel two, four, five odd formation. So there's a high chance that he's running a cover two shell out of it if it's a really good player they might be adjusting out of it but um you guys know what i mean by those bots that run to you know two four five odd they're going to be sitting usually in a cover two shell now with Devonte adams we're going to need the outside apprentice to put him on a post route this is going to be key in what we are doing so put him on a post you don't have to do anything else with him now as far as the other routes we don't really need any. we can do really whatever we want with Valdez scaling and Randall Cobb we can really do whatever I could hitch one of these guys I could flat one of these guys does not again does not matter it does not affect the play the only two routes you need for this play to be successful are Devonte Adams and Tanyan right here usually my favorite combo is just going to be slant him this is one that I showed in ebooks this is one that you know Henry used in his when I made that video so this is a very used setup now we're going to want some time to throw the football so I would block my running back. Um, we will show some setups later that the running back's not blocked, but we'll block him for now. Also, go ahead. I like to try and double team this right defensive end because we do kind of want to roll out. You don't need to. If you can stand tall in the pocket, you're more than welcome to, but it will be helpful if you're able to roll out of the pocket. And there you see it against cover two, and that's not even the ideal position because we were kind of on the run. We didn't even necessarily get our feet set, but... You see it work perfectly, and I want you to take a look at this right side. Take a look at Tanyan, and take a look at your strong safety right here. So Logan Ryan, he's playing the strong safety position in this particular scenario. And look at Tanyan run the corner out. He's going to do a extremely good job of not only pulling him down, but also pulling him super far to the right side. So even if Logan Ryan's all the way up here in perfect position, you could pass this inside and easily split them. You have enough space for that, but look at the depths of your strong safety compared to your free safety as well as Logan Ryan compared to Devontae Adams. And you can see that it's very evident that I could throw this both over his head and inside, which is exactly what we do. Generally, I think the better way to do it is to pass lead inside um, rather than pass lead it up. But you see right there, just super open. And this is probably the best of the, you know, Every, this is probably the easiest coverage to beat with this play out of every coverage. So, again, all we did was post X. Again, I did try to roll out. Our center did a terrible job, and he does a terrible job again of blocking Leonard Williams. But there you see it standing tall in the pocket. And I didn't even really – I think I might have accidentally passed that up. You see we still have enough space. And that's what you want. You want enough space to where there's room for error. You don't have to get the perfect pass. You don't have to be standing tall in the pocket. You can really just do whatever you want. Here, again, standing tall in the pocket. This time I pass that to the right, and you see there's just so much space for this. And again, this is stock cover two, so this is with a mid-read zone. Sometimes those mid-read zones do back up, defend it. Um, if they have it, this will that will not help them. The, the mid-reads don't do anything. They need You probably need an inside third, but even if they have an inside third, you might still be able to bomb it over the strong safety's head. Uh, of course, I don't have an extra controller set up at this particular moment in time. But that is something that I would guess can happen. Here again, you see a situation where we throw it maybe a little bit earlier. But 
because Tanyan's route pulls him so far to the right side. It does not make a difference. Show it one more time. And once again, you can do whatever. I like could flat B, hitch RB. You can do whatever with these guys. You don't have to do slant combo. There again, you see fitting it in very easily. Gunslinger, you can tell, is going to be very helpful, but the majority of you already run Gunslinger. Um, anyways, moving on, we're going to go into our cover three beater now. All right, now we're in the cover three defense. Now, cover three is going to be a lot tougher to beat. If we set up the exact same coverage, it slightly works, but there's going to be a problem. That's going to be the inside third over here. Now, Tanyan still does a really good job of pulling down the outside third, which is going to be James Bradbury on this right-hand side. But what he doesn't do, as you would expect, is move this free safety at all. So I'll show you what the play looks like running it stock, running it the same way, and why it's not going to work at all. So you're going to roll out and... You see it can kind of work, you kind of have a slot there, but that's a difficult throw and only a 99 overall receiver is going to make or someone with a deep out ability, which I believe he has. Um, I guess not, but he has something that makes that's making him catch better, but maybe it's because he has his ability active or his X factor rather, but who cares that's besides the point. You see that the free safety is in a really good position, so you of course need something to pull him over to the left. We could clearly tell from that first setup that a slant's not going to do the job, so you're going to have to incorporate some motion, and Randall Cobb's going to be the perfect guy for that. So you're going to motion him over from right to left. Now, the way that the defense is set up, for whatever reason, these safeties seem to flip. I'm not sure why this guy's getting down in the box, but it shouldn't really affect it. But what you're going to do is put Randall Cobb on a streak, and I might hop into another cover three as well to see if this doesn't happen with motion. But you're going to streak Randall Cobb, and this is going to do just the job of pulling that inside third over to the left side enough. And that was even an early throw from me, a little bit early. And you see he's just a little bit further on the left. He's not going to be able to travel as well. We'll do that again. Now I'm going to try and snap it maybe a little bit earlier so he doesn't run down all the way, which was the case right there. Kind of a motion snap, which is also not really what you want. And there you see even rolling out, out of range, back foot, it's still is open for us to complete so we'll set it up again all you're doing is posting x uh streaking rb again i'm blocking the running back you want some extra protection you need some time for these to develop uh as far as valdez scantling his he's on a very good route he's going to be man coverage he's going to be good against zone so i usually leave him if you want you can put him on a dig drag whatever the case may be again rolling out could be favorable in this scenario of course we've shown that you can throw it from the pocket but there you see it again, passing to the right side, and now you have enough space. Might hop into another cover three just to see if it plays a little bit different, because I know some people might be skeptical because of the way that the safety is getting down in the box. Not sure why that's happening, but I will hop into another one just to show you. All right, I just went in 3-4 odd. I would assume that this would play normally. Um, I'm going to hope that it does. And yes, it does. So now he's sitting atop perfectly. Hopefully our blocks can develop on this play. But we're just going to go ahead and roll out with Aaron Rodgers. Pass lead to the right. And you see James Bradbury is not even in the conversation to make the play. He is going to completely be sitting on that route. And really, as long as you get enough space, as long as you're able to pull him over, Devontae Adams has the speed advantage. So what are we doing over here? What's Randall Cobb's streak doing? What's the point of it? Well, you see how in a normal scenario, our safety here, who is this McKinney? Xavier McKinney, you see how he's just normally rotating over the way he would, and if there was no route going his way, he would continue to go. If there was no route going to his right side, he would continue to go to our right side or his left. But you notice he's going to stop. Why does he stop? Well, that's because Randall Cobb gets in the area, and he's going to continue now. Of course, once uh, Devontae Adams goes into his zone, he's going to kind of pick up on that, but he doesn't really react to it quickly. And that's another thing with these angles. Of course, you throw the ball right about here, which... He's not even necessarily open, but you pass lead it. You see it's going to take him some time to recover, even a perfect click on. It's not going to save him, and you have enough time. So I could wait a little bit, which I'll try to do. You know, sometimes with these blocks, they don't let you wait, which is why I kind of throw it earlier. But certain scenarios, you might have the opportunity to wait a little bit. So we'll try it here. Already a double team split, but we'll wait as long as we can. Pass lead to the right. You see it doesn't really make too big of a difference, so... Yeah, man, cover three, very solid. This is one of the plays that you can actually go ahead, throw the running back on a route. If I was putting him on a route, I would maybe put him on like a little out route. We could also put him the other way. But, I mean, you could really do whatever you want with Aaron Jones. Again, I like to block him, but you see if you're using a double team block to get to the right side anyway, maybe Aaron Jones doesn't really matter. Now, if they're sending slot cornerback pressure off the edge, if they're sending linebacker pressure off the edge, any edge heat, 
that is probably when you want to block your running back, get those chop blocks, and then be able to escape the pocket. But here, again, you see waiting, waiting, waiting. The longer you wait, the more it'll be open, but you can really throw it from when he's kind of lined up with uh, Xavier McKinney or whoever your safety is in the top. Again, if they're both the same speed, it's not going to make a difference. I would assume Devontae Adams and McKinney are probably around the same speed. McKinney is pretty fast for safety, if I'm not mistaken, in this game. So, yeah, man, with that being said, let's hop into our next coverage. Now, the next coverage is going to be cover nine. Now, cover nine is going to be pretty similar to cover two. Uh, again, it doesn't beat select coverages. I couldn't be figure out how to beat cover four, both match and a cover four drop. The post just doesn't really get over the top. I, I tried street combinations, did not go to plan. So we went to cover nine. Now the reason cover nine works is the way that auto flip setups, cover nine will leave the cover two side on the right and the cover four on the left. If it's cover six, the cover four will be on the right and the cover two will be on the left. So you need the cover four to be on the left because if it's cover four on the right, there's going to be an inside quarter majority of the time being you know sitting on that route so that's something that's not going to be able to be good for you but if it's cover cover nine then you should be good because the cover two is on that right side and just like we did the safety is going to well that was not good but the safety is generally going to pull over which is what you would expect you know same thing with cover two so again we're going to motion randall cobb over um, with the running back, you can put him on like a little wheel route. That's usually what I will go to. I feel like it just helps. He's just another open wide receiver. And there you see it. Now, I've seen this work a couple of different times. It's match. It's not going to play the same time every time. So this was a scenario where, and this is one where I almost wanted to, you know, start, start up my new controller just so I had enough time to show you guys this. But take a look at what our free safety does. Now, the reason I like this wheel route is you notice from the first play to the second play, now the outside quarter is going to play something. That's, of course, important. But you notice, really just going to come down to Julian Love here at the safety's position. Who's he going to follow? It's usually like half the time he follows Adams, half the time he follows Cobb. He follows Adams, you throw it to Cobb. He follows Cobb, you throw it to Adams. Pretty simple. But one guy's always going to be wide open. There you see the streak wide open. And again, for whatever reason, this is not the same against cover four. I might even show you guys that it, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work the same. But um, yeah, man, there you see it. He is open. I'll try and get it off. You need a lot of time. And again, for this setup, I would recommend sending out five. So it's difficult to get that time. But make a split-second decision. Hope that he maybe rushes three. But we'll see if we can get this off now. So we'll run it. See who he matches with. Now we got Cobb. Deep pass. And there you go. Let's try and set it up to hopefully where he matches with Cobb. Again, I, I was getting that a little bit earlier when I was labbing this on my own. So we'll see if we can actually get that to happen um, but again wheel y streak rb motion him from right to left same look as the cover three pretty much we're just adding one route go ahead snap your football here we get shedded but you see Cobb is open again we do kind of create space there but you'll know if he follows Cobb. pretty simple looks like the way that the coverage is set up it's not going to happen but i will hop into cover four just to show you that for whatever reason it doesn't really work the same way now again, we tried cover four quarters. We tried cover four palms. Did not really make a difference. Um, you know, they pretty much play the same in this you know particular scenario. This is cover four quarters, same setup as seen right here, and you will notice that perfect coverage. Now, Devonte Adams gets open a little bit. That's probably because his name is Devonte Adams. Um, you, you can get certain steps on this. It is similar to man coverage. The outside quarter is going to match with him in this scenario. So it is kind of similar in that standpoint, but it's the same thing with man coverage. If your player's better, he's going to beat him. Just like in cover four quarters, if your player's faster, he's going to beat him. If their player's faster, he's going to be defended. Pretty simple. Um, you know, going back to some of the other things we tried, something like this, maybe against quarters, I thought could work. Seeing right here, you see everyone pretty much matches up well. So again, it's just difficult to beat them. It's, you know, the quarters on the left, we could figure it out a way to beat it. But the quarters on the right, it's difficult. You have to do things like, you know, streak RB, just get this outside quarter out of the way. Then you have to do, you know, something I came up with was this uh, as one of my ideas. Um, and it did not really work the best. Again, you just see everybody matches on to everybody. 
But, um, yeah, man, cover four, or co if you want to know how to beat man coverage, cover four, you can check out some of the other setups that I included in, the, like, the past three videos I've done on Bunch. But, yeah, man, it's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, drop a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, and peace. I'm out of here.